here's how I do my captioning in Premiere Pro. Once I have a video fully edited and cut, it's time to head over to the text panel. And if you don't have the text panel, by the way, you can click on Window, Text to make it show up. First up, I generate a transcript. Click on the timeline, then click on the three dots here and select Generate Static Transcript. This will use speech to text to create a transcript. And yes, this is AI, but it's not AI in the sense that it's stealing from other creators. This runs locally on your machine as long as you are on 22.2 or later, so your data isn't sent off anywhere. And if your Premiere Pro is offline for some mysterious reason, to my understanding, it should still work. Once your static transcript is ready, take a minute to read over your captions. If you press spacebar to play it, it will highlight the words as it goes along, so it's easy to click in and correct any errors. Once fixed, you can click the three dots again and click Create Captions. I like to keep the max characters low, the duration low, and the lines set to single. Then hit Create. Once created, you have your caption track visible at the top up here. You can adjust your graphic style here in the Essential Graphics menu, and if you don't have this visible, you can once again go to Window, Essential Graphics. I have a preset for the way that I like my captions to look, so I will just quickly highlight all of my captions and then select this preset. However, you can't animate your captions up here, so if you want to animate them, select all of your captions and go to Graphics and Titles, Upgrade Caption to Graphic. And now we have our effect controls back and ready to animate. Hi, this is Flux and Post. I realized I did not show you the results, so here's what it looks like with animation versus without. I'll be doing a separate video on the animation itself, so be on the lookout for that in the future.